Before I start, I would like to point that I made a small mistake in the previous video. I said the Leap Motion comes with one USB cord, where it comes with two cords. The Leap Motion have one of the simplest installation. All you have to do is plug the cord to your computer and the device, place it under your monitor or before the keyboard if you're using a desktop, and if you're using a laptop, the best place is two inches from the laptop. Along connecting the device, you will notice three red dots on the top. They are the infrared sensors and a small green line indicating power. After that, you need to go to leapmotion.com slash setup, install the drive, which will install the marketplace and the apps for you. Now here we start the serious work. Leap Motion opens with a small introduction showing you how the sensor sees your hand and instructs you to understand some of the things you need to know about the device and how to control it. Unfortunately, there are some downsides. The Leap Motion cannot track all your fine fingers vertically and it takes some time to adjust to it. However, even after learning how to correctly use it, it is still hard to control basic tasks like closing windows or clicking icons. It is not even 70% replacement for your mouse. As for using it for drawing, it is not easily drawing accurately in the air and does not feel natural. Yet the device performs nicely when it comes to gaming and education. Apps like dissection and chemical compounds can come handy to students. The marketplace is full of apps for both Windows and Mac. Still, there are apps which are available for only one platform like Windows Paint app which is not available for Mac. But according to Leap Motion, they are working on apps which is true considering there are two to three new apps every day. Yet, there are one downside to the apps is that some apps are poorly designed, making it almost useless and does not work, and others are hard to pick up for the lack of instructions. I believe that's a mistake from the app developer which could be corrected in the future. Finally, the small size motion sensor with cheap price and international shipment an incredible accuracy of 0.01 mm is a purely new device which needs some cleansing and customization. However, it's a great jump for the technology industry. So, should you buy one or not? If you have a high interest in technology and you would like to purchase things like that, I would recommend for you to purchase it now, considering there were no rumors of new device other than software upgrades which could be useful in the future. However, if you're short in budget and you're not gonna use it only for gaming, I would suggest you wait for the Xbox Connect or you could save some money for even future devices. That was the review for the Leap Motion. If you have any questions, please post them below. Till then, see you in my next video. Bye.